Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dotton. I just want to talk about why I've started investing. And obviously the number one reason is to make money. But I guess for a very long time, my parents and my dad especially has been telling me that I should definitely invest some money and see what happens. You know, put some money, um, even £100 uh, every two months or £50 a month um, away while, while I was younger. Um, and that could have made me some good money right now. But, you know, I, I kind of decided, you know, I didn't want to do that. So I thought I'd rather spend my money on, um, you know, games, buying a games console, buying a laptop, buying a new phone, all that type of electric, electronic stuff, um, because that was what was you know more interesting to me. You know, um, I didn't really spend my money on designer clothes, but instead I kind of um, spent my money on um, the latest iPhone that came out or the, the watch that came out, whatever, you know, that kind of latest technology guy, basically. But I've now grown. So I'm 26 years old. Um, and I've decided, right, I'm going to invest some money. I'm going to kind of, you know, give this a go, see what happens um, and, you know, just kind of build a portfolio. And I will try to update people on um, where I've got to. So obviously I've started today um, and I've started investing with Airbnb. And I want to I want to kind of see what the story is and to see if what people have been telling me is true if i should have invested all this time so if you follow me and you subscribe and like my channel then you will see the growth in my uh, portfolio so obviously right now there's not really a lot in my portfolio and i've put in airbnb so i've bought a few shares um at the ipo beginning price so when the ipo started the price for the airbnb shares was at 146 dollars so i bought it 146 dollars and i bought um five shares so i'm going to kind of see what happens over a period of time um, and i'm going to talk about it and then i'll talk about what my next investment is and what you know what's going to happen is it going to be good or is it going to be bad so obviously buying four or five shares is about 500 pounds um it's not a lot of money to some people but to me it is a decent amount of money that i would care if i lost a bit of money but I still want to kind of share what my experience is and the research I did um, in making this decision to kind of invest in that company. So with Airbnb, why did I invest with Airbnb? So the last three or four years, I've only used Airbnb unless I was going on a holiday with my partner and we wanted like a beach holiday, which I hardly ever want anyway. Um, then in that case, we would use TUI or um, any of the other suppliers of hotels but in recent time I've been a bit more traditional and I've thought I want a bit more for my holiday I want to kind of um, enjoy you know the tradition you know I want to kind of stay in somewhere that someone actually lives and kind of feel what it's like to be Turkish or feel what it's like to be um, Croatian you know whatever it is and to kind of enjoy the food that you know the, the local foods that you get rather than a, a hotel food you know some hotels you've got to give them you know credit they do try to kind of mix in um, typical food that you would have on the on the um, you know the streets nice food um, but with Airbnb you get a nice variation you can go to a hotel at night or you can kind of you know do different things so I think that's the kind of business model that's kind of dragged me to invest in Airbnb and for some people they will say oh well you know it's not really a sustainable business model because how much can they really handle in terms of this scale let's say, you know yes they can have a lot of scale but they don't own any of the buildings they, or hardly any um, and can they really um, keep people going for it is there enough profits for someone to kind of say yes I want to put my house or my flat on Airbnb rather than renting it out on a yearly basis so that kind of question is then you know it, it makes you think it makes you think like is it worth me renting my property once a month um, to someone and you know you can say okay I get 500 pounds a month from from this kind of flat instead of you know, potentially having £800 in January, £400 in March, £600 in uh, November and £1,500 in June. So you, you can kind of follow that trend of what I'm saying there, that in different months, you will have different kind of um, demands. Obviously, demand will rise and fall. Um, and obviously, in June, July, you would get your holidays. So if you're in a place like uh, Edinburgh, the Fringe Festival is a perfect time to rent a building or to rent a room. And you will get massive amounts of 
money within that kind of one month space of time. Um, but obviously Edinburgh is expensive anyway, so you will get a decent amount of money. So now the question is, how do you pick? You know, it's really difficult to kind of say, oh yeah, I want to pick this company or I want to pick that company. But I think personally, for me, I would say anyone out there that want to invest in a company, pick a company that you kind of understand. Pick a company that you buy stuff from. You know, think about it. Do you really want to pick a company that you don't know anything about? And yes, you're going to do research, but will you really follow what's going on within that company? Is it that easy to keep onto your portfolio? It's quite difficult. However, with Airbnb, I know that I probably go on Airbnb at least once a month, you know, onto their website. And that kind of makes me think that, okay, well, this kind of makes sense. This makes sense for me to invest in that company. And I will own a portion of that company. And I will say to myself, okay, well, let's go for it. You know, let's see what happens with this company. And I want to kind of be part of the journey. I want to see how, what happens with this company from day one to day 100. And, you know, we'll see what happens. What I really want to get out of this is I want to be spending some of my money on investment and I want to see where that takes me. And then I want to kind of document that you know, journey to see if it's a real situation. So I've lived my life now for the past 15 years. I think from the age of maybe 12 or 13, my dad has said to me, you know, investing is amazing. Investing is amazing. People have said, you know, online investing is great, but I want to try it out. I want to see if investing really is that thing that we should all be doing. And, you know, you can question me and you can say, why would you spend your money like this? You know, is it really worth it? You know, but the thing is, I'm only putting money that I can afford to lose. And at the end of the day, the key thing is to diversify. So what I've learned is don't put all your eggs in one basket. And that is the key point here. If you put all your eggs in one basket, then essentially, if the company falls apart, then you you you, you risk getting nothing. So what will I do in terms of diversifying? I want to kind of maintain between 10 to 15 companies. So I would definitely say that, you know, I'm going to continue this for um, for a few months. So I'll say maybe 12 companies and each month I'm going to invest in one company. You know, YouTube is brilliant and it really does help you out. You know, you go on YouTube, YouTube is literally the second most used search engine. And the reason for this is because people like me are posting things on a daily basis you know, there's, there's always new information. So I hope you guys are excited because I am really excited and I can tell that you can tell that I'm excited. So I'm really excited to share this video and you guys need to like and subscribe so you can see what business have I invested in next. And the first one is Airbnb. Rah! I enjoy it. It's all about making risks and actually getting to the point where, you know, you say to yourself, maybe I should just stick to my day job. And at least I've tried. And I've done that without breaking my bank and without actually, you know, losing too much. I just watched a really interesting video on YouTube. And this guy was saying that you can become a millionaire if you spent um, 200 pounds per month on, uh, you know, the S&P 500 index. Um, that's kind of a, sh a stocks and shares kind of uh, investment. So if you put away £200 a month for 40 years, by the time you are, let's say you were 25 right now, by the time you were 65, you would actually have um, a future value of a million pound in uh, your portfolio. Thank you very much, guys. Tune in next month when I talk about my investment portfolio. Really excited.